So obviously dental implants uh, are a great tool to replace teeth these days. However, we don't want to forget about the aesthetic aspect that's involved in dental implants. So the other day when we were seeing a patient, a very interesting question came up that I thought would be a good discussion topic for us today. And uh, this very nice lady had implants and the two front teeth. Uh, she was very happy with the appearance, the function. However, there were two black lines shown on those crowns. So the question that she had is, how come my dental implants have this dark black margin or line around them? And that's the question I get more often than you, because you're a surgeon, but as a restorative dentist, I see that more commonly when patients ask, you know, what's this black line or black ring around the top of my crown? And if that's the case, normally we see that with those older crowns, what we call post and Houston metal or PFM crowns. And then these older type crowns, essentially you have post and substrate that's fused to a darker metal, metal base layer. And, you know, that base layer can sometimes form a dark ring or an incising layer around the top of the crown. And it may not be visible when you first get the crown placed, but as patients get older, sometimes as with age, the crown recedes and you can see that dark line. Or if they have a gum problem or recession, you start seeing it. So sometimes it might not be the initial, but as they get older, they start seeing this black line. Now, although nowadays there are really few indications for PFM, that we have different types of, different layers of porcelain now. So nowadays, most crowns are made of porcelain. These are different types of porcelain, or, or you can layer the porcelain. There are few indications for PFMs. Um, and the porcelains can give a more translucent or aesthetic appearance. There's al there are almost very little cases where you have to put a porcelain fused to metal crown. Um, sometimes you can also see that black line with implants that are failing. Sometimes when the implant starts to fail and becomes receded, you can see it as well. But most commonly it's with what we call the PFM or porcelain fused to metal crowns. So with new technology, new materials, they've been able to eliminate a lot of the aesthetic concerns that used to be an yeah, issue with dental that's, implants. That shouldn't be any student that. So with the currently we have technology we have currently, uh, black lines should be a problem, should be a concern for any patient that walks into that office. But thank you for that explanation. Uh, in general, we're hoping with this very short uh, episodes and videos to be able to answer some of your questions about dental implants. Um, if you have any further questions or concerns, please make sure you leave a comment or subscribe to our videos. And if there are any individual concerns or questions, feel free to contact us. We'll be more than happy to discuss your particular questions.